to my channel if you are new here hello i'm brooke and welcome so i'm aware that i probably do not look my best um it's currently sunday and sunday is a chilled day where you do not wear makeup you do not brush your hair you just lounge around in your boyfriend's clothes that is the truth um but i really wanted to get a video up i really wanted to kind of speak about the last week and if you're like me and you've been following on my youtube week you will know that i have just finished my first week of gcse's 2019 and I really, I kind of got told to do this by one of my friends, Louis. So shout out to him. He kind of said, why don't you do like a roundup every weekend of the exams and everything like that. So um, I'm going to, if you haven't gone and watched my GCSE vlogs, I upload every day apart from I did not upload on Thursday because I've done a Thursday and a Friday mixed. Um, go and check them out because they are quite good and you can see how I find them and also other friends find them and stuff like that. So go and check them out if you are interested and make sure that you give them a big thumbs up if you enjoy them. But yeah, I just thought I'd sit down and have like a general conversation. I don't know whether the video will be long. I don't know whether what I really have to say. I'm going to be kind of just going at it and just making up as I go. I hope you're like, I'm just liking it like how it is just right now. Um... But yes, so obviously GCSE started on Monday for me. A lot of other schools just do, um, oh, someone just commented on my um, thing saying, what the hell, crucible. Um, so they started on Monday. I know some schools started on Tuesday because they don't do RE, but RE is a compulsory subject for you because I go to a Christ Christian Catholic school, Church of England. And um, yes, yeah, so we had RE and I do Christianity and Islam. Um, the paper was quite a nice paper to firstly go into and it was very much like a nice one if I went straight into it and it was like maths I probably would have had a mental breakdown in the exam hall but yes um, so we had obviously two sections and the questions were okay better Christianity than Islam paper um, the 12 markers on Islam was just what the freaking hell it was insane but yeah it was quite nice to kind of not nice but the first exam everyone was a bit like trying to get their bearings they didn't really know like because obviously we normally do it in a hall and then we had to do it in sports hall so it's kind of just getting used to it and just seeing the procedures hearing the guidelines for the hundredth time we've already heard them all and yeah so it was quite like it was I thought I was going to be so much more nervous than I actually was um I have been really chill this week I don't know what it is I don't know whether it's because I was prepared for the exams I don't know what it was but I've been surprisingly chill surprisingly unstressed and it's been really really nice um so I had biology on Tuesday and I'm going to be quite frankly honest with all of you guys I didn't do one bit of revision for biology and people can say well why don't you even put a little bit of effort into it I would have always rather put more effort into my other subjects apart from science because I can't learn the course in one night. It's just impossible. I tried my best and I actually came out with the biology exam thinking that I'd done reasonably well. There was a six mark question on beta blockers and I do GCSE PE, so that one was actually okay for me. There was a few questions where I was a bit like, what? But all in all, even if you had revised, they said that a lot of the stuff that they had revised didn't even come up, so there wasn't even a point of actually revising. So that's kind of my take on biology. Um, I've only got one paper left, which is literally God sense, because I will never have to do biology and no photosynthesis ever again. And the next paper on biology, I'm much more confident on because it's mostly recent, what we've like learned and things like that. So hopefully my grade will go up. I'm just hoping for a pass in biology, chemistry and physics. I do combined sciences higher. So that's kind of not really a massive thing for me. I'd much rather pass every other subject apart from science if it came down to it, but I would love to pass all of them. Okay, on Wednesday we had English literature and I kind of went into that exam and I wasn't really feeling as prepared as I would have liked. Um, it was I do Macbeth and Christmas Carol. I felt more prepared on Christmas Carol than Macbeth. And I think that's just because I prefer the play. Um, that's, do I? Do I? A little bit. Um, but I went in and the questions were really 
really quite simple. Um, so Macbeth one was how is Macbeth prevent presented as a violent character? The whole play is about him being violent. So I was like, what are you actually meant to write in here? Um, and then you've got the Christmas Carol one was how did the ghosts like help him change a little bit like throughout the play, which was like a god sense of a question. I, would, I was begging for the change of Scrooge and it came up and I was like, yes. Yeah. So I done Christmas Carol question first because I was more confident with that one. But all in all, I think that went okay. I kind of got into the exam and I was a bit like, wait a second, how do I write an English essay? I feel like I haven't done it for ages, but I am quite confident of coming out of that exam that I did do quite um, well and I'm hoping that the grade boundaries won't be too high because everyone came out of that exam and was like, oh, was like, oh my God, that was so easy. And I was like, that means that the grade boundaries are gonna be so high. Um, and then in the morning I had PE, pay part one obviously, and it is the whole body physical aspect and I was not confident for this one really I had done loads of revision I had done the revision on the Monday night for PE and I just wasn't feeling like I was going into that exam with a lot of knowledge even though I did know it and I went into the exam and the exam paper was probably my favorite paper out of the whole week that I've sat it was literally a god sense of a paper everything was just straightforward there was no tricks in it and I just came out with like so much posit positivity and I was just like, yes, this has worked for me. Like this is a perfect exam um, and AQA, no, not AQA, OCR blessed us with that kind of questions. There was a lot of one markers and there, here and there. But honestly, that was honestly like principles of training was the sixth mark and I was like, praise hallelujah. But yeah, and um, so PE, I've obviously done my practical and they, when I spoke to them, they said I was two marks off a seven or an eight. I can't actually remember. So hopefully I done better in the mock so then I can up my grade in all in all. But I done tennis, netball and badminton for my kind of sports. I was only confident on netball to be fair if I'm completely honest with you guys. Um, but yes, a PE went well. My, definitely my favourite exam of the whole entire thing. And then I'm going to talk about like the exams in general and then I'm going to talk about like other things and like the mental health that I've seen and like how everyone's doing and things like that and how I've like actually acknowledged it. So on Thursday all I had was chemistry and I didn't do any revision for chemistry and I don't really know like it was like a weird, weirdly simple but weirdly I don't think I done well exam. It was like very... It could go one way or it could go another way. The questions were a bit weird and they were very similar. Like there was a lot about the reactivity and things like that. So I was a bit like, if you didn't really know anything about that, you would have been stuffed. And I feel like they didn't really expand the topic knowledge, but you know, AQA think that they know best. Sorry, AQA. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk about too much about that because chemistry isn't really important for me. And then Friday I had a drama and PE, and it was my last ever drama association. Like, it was amazing. So if you know me personally, or you kind of followed me for a while, you will know that drama has brought me many, many tears, and many, many parental breakdowns, and many, many just hard times. And um, we were like a tiny class, it was eight of us, so we were very close together and things, and you know, classes, Sometimes I get on and there's put people in the class that I was just like, oh, I can't wait to get away from some of these people. But I done my drama and PE exams really close together because they clashed. And the exam board says that you can't open the paper before the actual time's allowed. So I wasn't allowed to do drama or PE in the morning and then the other one at normal time. So I had to do the P exam last and drama first. So I had to start that at one o'clock. And there was an hour and 45 minutes and I was writing for that whole hour and 45 minutes. My hand was like dead. Um, we got the, I do the crucible. Um, so the crucible questions on AQA were about Danforth and Proctor. So it went okay. I was actually quite happy with how the crucible st like staging when apart from that we had light in and I was like it's literally meant to be outside but what do you do and then I write about wicked for my performer question which was about like the effects um, and the emotions and so I wrote about wicked and a particular scene of popular 
so I was happy with how the drama exam went and then um I was kind of like I didn't really it was kind of annoying because I didn't kind of come out the exam and like speak to all like my drama a lot and see how they all found it so that was kind of annoying but before that I had a bit of drama um literal drama so i was still like in the right mindset which was quite good which i managed to keep which i was quite proud of myself for i was like good old brooke um keeping the high like i could literally like find out that my pet hamster that i haven't even got died and i'd be like going to that exam and be ac i'd probably do best that i've ever done um and then i done pe and the pe paper was much harder i found than the physical paper a lot of it i was like are they trying like it wasn't very straightforward compared to the other paper Still came out of the exam thinking that I'd done okay, but I definitely think I'd done better on the other paper. If I had to give myself a percentage on P, I would definitely give myself paper one around 75% and socio about 70, 65% if I'm completely honest with you guys. Um, but you know, let me see how it goes on. And then, yeah, that was my exam week and how I found them all. Um, obviously, this is just a little bit more detailed than my vlogs. If you have watched my vlogs, I'm sorry, that was probably very, very repetitive. Um, so, we don't have study leave, which I have found a massive impact in. Um, I feel like on Monday, for instance, we had to do an RE exam in the afternoon, but we had to do maths and English in the morning. And it just doesn't put you in the right mindset. I feel like you get much less revision. You don't get a revision base that you want. If some kids like to do it in loud circumstances, some kids like to do it in quiet. I'm a quiet person and I cannot revise if it's not quiet for me. Um, I can't listen to music either or stuff like that. So it is really quite difficult and I do struggle a little bit. What is the time? Oh, sorry. Um, and I find that not having study leave has really kind of changed it and taken an impact but what can we do we have study leave from the 10th to the 14th that's like two exams but anyway yeah so if i could change one thing it would definitely to be having study leave but yeah i think a lot of like people in my year have been finding it okay i haven't seen really many people like really struggling or anything but this week is quite a hard week we have got english pa english literature paper two we've got maths got re tomorrow we've got science and so maths i think will be the one where everyone kind of has a little bit of a oh my god it's maths it's actually maths has come upon us um but yes all in all i find that my favourite exam this week was in um, P paper one, like I've said, and my least favourite was probably doing drama or chemistry because they were just such boring exams and I just don't like them. Um, and so yeah, and the ones that I'm looking forward to next week is English literature because it's like the only one I can do, and probably RE-ish. Um, but yeah, next week is kind of more of a quiet week. It's not so full on. But our schools have been giving us breakfasts in the morning and like lunchtime snacks. They've been providing us with water. And the school has been very good. We get exam briefings every day, which is a little bit like a waste of the time. And I end up doing my own revision in that time. But it's all good. It's helping some other students. But yeah, if you are doing exams for the next week, make sure that you do your best. And that's all you can do. If you are struggling, come on over to my GCSE vlogs and we can rant together also let me know if you would like me to do any live study with me this week because i would really like to kind of talk to you guys and if you want to ask any questions but i'm a little bit nervous if no one comes and watches it because that'd be really really embarrassing <laughs> but yes let me know what you're thinking let me know how your exams are going and yes thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below thanks for watching and i will see you on tuesday for a new gcse daily vlog until bye!